Hey Cancer, what's up Cancer? Welcome back to the channel. This is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This is going to be for Cancer placements. So wherever you guys have Cancer in your chart, do keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Cancers out there. But if it does, please show Fire some love, like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. All right, y'all, um, just a couple announcements before we hop in. Tarot class starts September 23rd, so if that is something you guys are interested in, all the information is in the description box below, okay? Um, and the tarot class is half off right now, all right, because I feel bad that I had to reschedule the class twice because of, you know, the house fire, so um, I'm offering it now 50% off. The two-for-one readings are still available. I'll put that in the description box as well. Or I will pin it in the comments, either or. Hopefully, I don't forget. I should write it down so I don't forget. I don't think I will forget. And I think that's it. So, let's hop into your reading, y'all. Let's see what's going on with the Cancer. Okay, let's see what's going on with Cancer placements. Let's look at your energy. Let's see where your energy is at. They're going to look at your career and finances and then see. Um, we're going to look into love, okay? The person on your mind. So, let's see what's going on with Cancer. All right. So, we have... The sacred temple so spirit is definitely near you around you supporting you some of you guys um you know could have like a church home or maybe just been praying maybe looking at um you know prayers are just um really tapped in right now at this moment okay um and yeah something that you pray for something that you ask for it's coming okay we got the honoring path we got happy success you will be honored you will be appreciated um you're doing something really great for someone or you're doing something for someone Okay, because you're being given your flowers. Like, this person has flowers in her hand. So, you're doing something where you're going to get your flowers or you're being given flowers, but not, like, actual flowers. You could be getting flowers maybe from someone that, you know, loves you, cares about you. Maybe they're sending you some type of flowers or something. But if not, it's just like you're getting your flowers. Like, you've done such a really good job or you've done something for somebody or something is paying off or somebody is recognizing you. Somebody is recognizing you. So, this is you, like, getting recognition. Okay. Um, and I see you being very happy in the next eight days to eight weeks. We have an increase. So your energy is definitely shifting, shifting. And look, you're going into a new cycle. Some of you guys are meeting a kindred spirit. Some of you guys are meeting someone that is like, you know, it's like going to be a really good connection. If it's not a romantic situation, then this is going to be something that's platonic. Maybe you guys will be really good friends. Or this is somebody that's just stepping into your life and they're going to help you. Now, with this card, this can go a couple different ways. This could go where um, it can be like where you're meeting like someone that is, you know, like meant for you. Someone that is in alignment with you as far as love. This can be a platonic situation or this can be a situation where somebody is stepping in and helping you and then they're just going to dis disappear. <laughs> and I don't mean to say it like that, but you guys know I shared my story before on YouTube and my videos a couple times where I told you guys when I was in Arizona and I was going through some stuff and I told you guys I had um, started a new job and I had this person around me and they were helping me and they helped, they helped me get out of a situation. And this person was like around me every day. And then one day I just woke up and I never seen this person again, never heard from them. I called up to the job. They were acting all crazy. Like, we don't know who you're talking about. Nobody with that name ever worked here. Um, they were saying all type of stuff that just scared the shit out of me. I went on, I called the number, phone disconnected. I went on Facebook, Instagram channel, I mean, pages deactivated. Like, when I was up there searching, it's as if it never happened. Like, to this day, still no signs of that person. It still kind of freaks me out when I think about it. And so, this person came into my life at a time when I was at my lowest, okay? At my lowest. And they did everything for me to help me get back up to where I needed to be. And once I was back on my feet... And got everything back that I had lost. It's like they left. And so it's like God put this person into my life for that for that time. Um, and even though it scared me, I never questioned it. And around that time is when I started my channel. So it's like everything all kind of happened at once. So this can be where something in your life is increasing. And it can be that God, universe, spirit, whoever you guys are believing in, they're bringing someone into your life to help you. Okay? But it's not going to be a long-term situation. But when this person is around or while they're around, you're going to be like, wow, like I've never had a friend like you or wow, never dated somebody like you or wow, like I never had someone look out for me like that. Or it's going to make you feel like our question, like, well, like you don't even know me. Why do you want to do all these things for me? You don't know me. Like, why do you want to help me? Why do you want to come into my life and stuff like that? You may not say those things to this person, but that's probably how you're going to feel because it's going to just come out of the blue. 
out of nowhere. So you're just going to be kind of shocked. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got. And we got discovery. So you are discovering something new. Something is changing in your life. Or you're looking at something totally different. Okay. So let's cut the deck and see what's going on. The spirit is definitely by your side. That's the first card you guys had out, which is really good. So that looks really good, Cancer. Look, hidden motivation. So things are happening behind the scenes. Something is hidden from you. So that you don't so that you don't know. It's like spirit doesn't want you to know what's going on. Yep, see, look, friends and colleagues, people are coming into your life to help you. And it may be people, you know what I'm saying? So it may be like back-to-back -back people coming in and you're just like, wow, like you, you want to help me, little old me or me? Like, so not saying little old me, like you're not a big deal. No, you are. But it's like, that's how you're going to feel like, wow, like you don't even know me. Why do you want to come in and help me? Why do you want to come in and do all these things for me? Okay? So do accept the help. Do accept what's coming in. It's going to look really good. Okay? So let's see what's going on with... Let's see what's going on with cancer when it comes to career and finances for cancer career and finances for cancer career and finances for cancer all right so we got chest and we got coffin so you guys are starting over for some of you guys some of you guys made a bad investment or some of you guys were working night shift and you're ending your jobs some of you guys are tired you work in a graveyard shift or you're working something overnight um, you are doing like 12 hour shifts, maybe four days a week, something like that. Or, um, some of you guys were just stuck on night shifts and you guys are coming out. Maybe the night shift was paying more money, but at the end of the day, it's like, it wasn't worth, it wasn't worth it. It was very challenging for you guys. All right. And if that's not it, it's just some of you guys made a bad investment. And like I said, if this was a night shift or something you deal with your business or something, it was a small increase. It wasn't nothing that was worth doing it. You know, I do see a fresh start in two of the cards. So I do see a fresh start coming, steady work, career building. So money is coming in, but it's going to be a small increase from what you were getting. So some of you guys are going towards a new job and it's like, it might be 50 cents to a dollar more than what you were making, you know? So it's going to be a little bit more, but it's not going to be a lot more. Okay. But um, I do see an increase, something changing with the chest. We got money strategy wise spending. So some of you guys are needed to be very careful with your money. Some of you guys are in the military or thinking about going to the military, the Air Force, the Army, the Navy. Um, but it says thinking it through. So for some of you guys, it's something that you guys need to think about. Especially if this is, you know, like I said, military or something like that. Or some of you guys are thinking about doing something big, changing something because you're tired of the small money. It could also be going back to school. Let's see books. As soon as I said that, the book. Some of you guys are thinking about going back to school or getting like college paid for or you guys are trying to get into some type of program or something that's going to help fund, fund you or something like that. All right. Where you have to do paperwork, contracts. Um, some of you guys can just be doing like business training, doing something online. Some of you guys are writing a book. If you are, you guys need to focus on that too because a lot of money can come in with that. All right, taking a class, education, law, and we got watch, okay? So some of you guys are on some type of deadline or have some like type of timeline or something when something will happen. Some of you guys are like thinking about getting into like mm, Nazi law, like it can be like lawyer or, you know, like police academy or something like that. It's like you guys have like some type of time frame or something or something about a time. So... Think about that too. Okay, the clock is ticking, so it's something saying like you don't have enough time, or don't wait too late to sign up or to do something. Some of you guys just could like age, so you can be like you know what I'm getting older. I got to figure things out, or I always wanted to do this, but you're thinking about your age. You're thinking about the time and do I have enough time to do this? Okay, or something is gonna be timed, like a quiz, a test, or something like that. Something you'll have to do, some type of training. So make sure you guys are paying attention. When it comes to some type of training okay so let's hop into your reading and let's look at the person that is on your mind let's see cancer the person on cancer's mind 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 Okay, power couple. Okay. So we got power couple. We got to risk it all and fade it. 
All right, so your person likes to get high. They like to get faded. They like to drink. They like to smoke weed, maybe pop pills. Y'all better be careful. I'm just going to say that, y'all. Um, I'm not a smoker or pill popper or stuff like that. So I know I, I get it. Some people like to do it. That's their thing. But just with everything going on in the collective, especially now I'm 24, because um, I'm really into like crime shows or like I watch like a lot of like crime TV, real life stuff. And it like breaks my heart when I see a lot of young people or like young artists like rich homie Kwan, like that was just sad i feel like that was a setup but that's just my opinion okay um but it's like a lot of people are like smoking and taking these pills and stuff and people are dying from like fentanyl and all type of other things so i just feel like just be careful i don't know why i was got it to say that you know i can't tell y'all what to do y'all are grown but i just feel like right now is it is it worth risking it you know i feel like every day doing that is just a huge risk you know um no one personally to me you know, has went through that or experienced that or that I, you know, know of. Well, some subscribers that have came for readings and stuff and they're like, oh, this happened to my family. My family died because it was fitting all in their weed or, you know, my daughter did this and da 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 And it just like, it's very sad because I just feel like if, just be careful, you know, and if the message is not for you, it could be for somebody else, okay? Um, maybe somebody around you does it, but just be careful who you're, you know, buying stuff from, who you deal with, who you talk to, the people that you're around, you know, oh, you want to try this, you want to hit this, like, no, like, no, 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 no. I really enforce that in my kids. They're young, though, but I've always was, like, very, like, I'm, like, y'all, I got a story. Y'all probably gonna laugh at me, right? So, I remember, and I, I, okay, so this was, like, years ago, and I was in Arizona, and I was working at this job. I don't want to say, because I feel like if I say the job, then they're gonna know, because maybe some of them watch me. I don't know, because I know a few of them watch me and, like, get readings and stuff, but they probably are gonna pick up on it anyway. So, long story short, um, I was invited to a party. And so when I went to a party, there was like this big table and it was like kegs everywhere. They had like they like the color bracelets and stuff. Like, you know, like when you go to like a rage or something like that, like one of them type of parties. But it was like liquor bottles everywhere. People were just like throwing money in. So when we walk in, they were like, oh, this, you got cash on you? Because we had just got off of a shift that day and then you know like servers we used to always have oh damn i just blew it so we used to always have money on us right so anyway long story short they're like just throw some money up there and you can get you can get whatever you want and i might get whatever i want and so i have never in my life been exposed to drugs whatsoever like i've seen weed before and stuff yeah but like even to this day like i've never like been around pills or a pill popper and stuff like that only pills i know of is like if you are sick and the doctor gives you tylenol three or motrin or something like that and i've never been with people or dated people that were into that stuff either so i'm not really edu educated on it right i'm not really street smart when it comes to stuff like that because i just never was exposed to that and my mom and my brothers and my family always made sure i wasn't so anyway going back to the story um because we're having story time right now, cancer. I love y'all, so don't be mad. So, anyway, going back to the story, I've never been exposed to drugs like that. And so, I look over. Somebody's, like, shooting up. I look over. It's, like, a big-ass bowl. And it's nothing but cocaine. And people are buying eight balls. Or you're throwing money up. And if you throw money in the bowl, you can get a line and stuff. And they're, like, come on, ass, do this, do this. And, then I, and I'm just looking at them. And I'm, like, everybody's, like, in their zone. Everybody's feeling good. And if they're not getting high, they, like, drinking. They vibing. And everybody's, like, and I'm just looking, like, oh, my God. Like, this is what y'all be doing outside of work? And I had just had Connor. He was a newborn. And so I didn't drive. I rode with somebody. And I'm just like, wait, what? And I'm like, this is crazy. So I was nervous. I was scared. And everybody like, go Ash, go Ash, get some, throw some money up there or whatever. And so I had got a little drink or whatever. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna start with a drink, y'all. And so there was drinks already made. And so I had told the guy, I was like, can I pour my own drink? Because, you know, my mom will always tell me like, you don't drink after people, right? Or if there's drinks mixed, you know, I don't do that. Even to this day, I don't care how much I trust you, you know, unless I really, really trust you and fuck with you and I know you, yeah. It's, it, is, it depends, but I'm not going to ever go somewhere to a bar or something like that and just, like, even, like, say if I go out or went out, like, you know, prior to, you know, my relationship, if somebody wanted to buy me a drink, I'll go up to the bar with them. I'm not going to let them buy me a drink and bring it back to me, you know. But anyway, I don't want story time to be long. So, we, um, we're at the party. I make my little drink and like everybody is just like on the couch passed out dancing it was just weird it was like so dark inside and it was like the color lights going around and so y'all i ran into the bathroom and i cried 
And mind you, this was like at somebody's house. So I'm like, where's the bathroom? So they were, he was like, oh, it's bathrooms everywhere. So I had to kind of like wait to get in the bathroom because people were going in and out the bathroom at this person's house. So I go into the bathroom and I just bust out crying. And I call my mom and I, I tell my mom what's going on. And then my mom was like, she was like, first of all, you're not going to be at that party at the Nas Gary. My mom's a cancer too. So that's why, I, that's another reason I'm sharing this story. Rest in peace, mom. But it was like funny because my mom was like, you better like, she wasn't saying like fake it, like go do drugs. No, but she was just saying like, wipe your tears, wipe your face, put on some makeup. She was like, this makeup for story. Say you got to go say Connor something. So I, I called Connor's dad. And I'm like, could you come get me from the party? But I was just crying y'all because I was so scared and I was in an, envi in an environment to where I felt like I didn't have... I'm not going to say I didn't have any control, but it was so much going on around me and it was so much pressure. And even if they would have kept pressuring me, I would have said no, but it made me so uncomfortable to the point like I didn't want to be there because that's not me and that's not how I turn up and have fun. And then I didn't want to be the person that when we go back to work, everybody talk about like, oh, Ashley, I don't want you to hang out with you. You're not fun. So I have felt very torn. So I went into the bathroom and I like called my mom and she's like, you better wipe the motherfucking tears and stop acting like that. And that's why I love my mom because she used to be a hard ass. I ain't gonna lie, but she was the sweetest person in the world, but be hard to tell at the same time. And so she was like, you ain't going out like that. You better wipe your tears. Fuck that. You know, make up an excuse. So she had called Connor's dad and then told him. And then I called him. And then he came and got me. And I was like, y'all, I was like, Connor, this won't chill. He won't stop crying. I'm like, I guess he needs me, blah, blah, And they was like, okay, go be a mom first and all this type of stuff. But I don't know. Something made me share this because I don't, like I said, if it's not y'all, it can be like your children or somebody around you that is just in that environment or like around people that do that. And so I don't know. It kind of like this touched me just now for me to share that with you, Cancer. So sorry we had to have story time on y'all reading. Sorry I had to share all that. I know some of y'all like, I'm gonna fuck ass, do the little part, but. I just feel like it needed to be said. So just be very careful of the things that you guys are buying from people, the things people are giving you, you know, like, um, like even, you know, like my mom always told me if I ever smoke, like if I don't see somebody roll it up or do it or whatever, don't smoke with them, don't do this, don't do that. You know, like I said, I'm not a smoker or anything, so I don't have that issue, but just be very careful, y'all. There's too many deaths going on when it comes to like drugs and weed and all type of stuff, you know, so just be very careful. All right, so I'm done talking, done telling story time. I gave y'all two story times and one reading. <laughs> All right, so we got the faded, high drunk, bad habits, disconnected. So somebody could be like very disconnected. They can have a habit. They can get high a lot, drink a lot. And this person, I, I feel like when it comes to their addictions, whether it's sex, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is, it's like it, it, they risk the relationship or cause problems and issues with the relationship, right? But then at the same time, I feel like this person, y'all can be a power couple if somebody just got their mind right and got their shit together, okay? So I'm seeing this a couple different ways. Um, y'all do have king and queen vibes, all right? And y'all can make big money moves and the person that you're dealing with, you are this person or both y'all can have a business mindset. But like I said, somebody takes a risk, Okay. And they need to be careful of the risk that they're taking because it's affecting the relationship. All right. So let's go into the risk at all and like kind of see what this is about. Okay. So we got the four of cups. So yeah, somebody is detached or disconnected. Um, and then we have the empress. So I don't know why I'm getting this. Like somebody, when somebody is sober in their right mind or when somebody is connected, they are really good at what they do. Okay. This is somebody that is bound to be successful. They can flourish, they can grow, but they are disconnected and it has it has something to do with maybe drugs or alcohol or something like that, but also a part of them needs to heal. They're disconnected for other reasons. It could be like childhood trauma, it can be rejection, it can be abuse, it can be neglect, it can be a lot of different things. And so this person takes a risk, right? But it's not like they want to take risks. They do this because this is how they feel to where, yeah, like when... When they take these risks, they feel better. They feel more confident. Three of Pentacles to the Empress is somebody that feels more confident in themselves. Okay. Um, and then we have the higher font. This is a huge lesson for them. All right. And when it comes to this relationship, so whoever you guys are dealing with, somebody is taking a huge risk or they keep taking risks. And you guys can be a really good couple. Like I said, y'all, this is King and King of um, Queen vibes. You know, things can be very good between you guys, but somebody needs to like stay focused. Somebody is like they're lost a little bit. They're disconnected and they need to reconnect themselves. And sometimes we have to disconnect to reconnect. Going to the faded. King of Swords. See, look, somebody be on cloud nine. See all the clouds? When somebody is faded, it's like that's like that's when they feel more powerful, which is interesting. 
Mm -hmm. See, look, they be in the clouds, baby. Okay? They be coming up with all type of ideas and all type of things. And then we got the tower in reverse. So when they come down from it, it's like real life hits them and things kind of change. So um, temperance in reverse, they become very moody. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Look, they become very moody when they come down. Or like say if they don't got their weed or if they ain't got this and that, they can be like very moody. They can switch up. They can change. So you guys also have someone, if this is not like drug or alcohol related, this is someone that is just very moody. You know, um, you have to say it like this, but it could be like bipolar or something that goes on with them. Maybe somebody is not like taking their medicine or not doing what they're supposed to do or taking something on time or somebody feels like they don't need it. But you guys are around somebody that's very smart. King of Swords is very smart. They have a lot of potentials, but they let outside influences or other things distract them. And I feel like this is somebody that you don't want to give up on, but I also feel like you feel as if like I should give up on this person, okay? Um because of that. But I feel like because you see the potential and you see where this can go, you're just like, mm, I don't want to give up. So let's see. Yep, see look the tower is in reverse twice. The ace of wands in reverse. See? That's what I'm saying. This person is very smart. We got repeating cards. But when they're not in that energy of like being faded or on their little cloud nine or whatever, it's like they're a different person. This can even be somebody that just drinks a lot. It doesn't have to be smoking, pill popping or whatever because we have faded or whatever, whatever their high is, whatever that can be. It can be porn. It can be having a lot of sex or whatever. This might be somebody that functions better when y'all have sex all day. And when y'all don't have sex and they're moody, they're grouchy, it can be something like that. Whatever their addiction may be. But some of you guys or most of you guys are dealing with somebody that has some type of addiction and it is affecting them um, as a person. Okay? So, let's see. Why is power couple here? See, look. Eight of pentacles in reverse. Four of pentacles in reverse. The death card. See, somebody needs to make some type of changes. Somebody may give up on this relationship because somebody is tired. Somebody feels like, you know, like we've been through a lot. I'm ready to I'm ready to like make some money. I'm ready to get things off the ground. But you're stopping and blocking us from getting to where we need to be or where we want to be at. Um, King of Cups. This is somebody you love. Cancer Energy, King of Pentacles. Somebody that can bring a lot of money and stability into your life or relationship. But they need to change their perspective or they need to change their ways or you're going to be single and by yourself. You can do it with or without them, but I feel like you want to do it with them because you're showing up as a Nine of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Let me see something. Go on to this Faded card. Entanglement. And there, look, confess, reveal true feelings. So, also... When this person gets faded, they do things like cheat, lie, stuff like that. Go into this energy. Yep, they cheat, lie. So somebody definitely needs to change that. Somebody needs to definitely take care of business. Like if they want to be with you, they need to make a lot of changes is what I'm getting cancer. Um, so this is kind of sad to hear a little bit, you know, because I feel like somebody is just like, yep, the T receipts things being exposed entanglement we got pop-up unexpected surprise plot twist so remember with the so with the pop-up card that's what i'm saying when they're on their little high they're a different person they're making all these promises oh we're gonna do this we're gonna do that i love you we're gonna get married we got this baby we're gonna do this and that you know then part of them cheat and lie and then it's like a lot is also revealed to you because you see another part of this person so I feel like this is more of like a personal reading for somebody. I feel like this may not resonate with a lot of people in the collective. Um, unless you're like definitely going through this situation right now. But um, how it's showing up very strong in the reading. This energy. Then it might be for a lot of y'all. Okay. So. Let's see. Let's look at the energy. Let's pull the energy oracle. I mean, let's pull it from the um, quantum oracle and see what's going on. We have family. So you could have a child with this person. Some of you guys can be pregnant. 
and we have playing it safe. So some of you guys are like, yeah, I really need to play this safe. I really need to think about my future. I need to think about my kids. I need to think about my family. So a lot of you guys are in that energy. See, present power. See, but that's what I'm saying. Like somebody has a lot of potential and you see the good in somebody, but you feel like you just have to play it safe. There's some fear around the relationship too. Yeah. And you don't want things to get worse. You want things to get better. So I see where there's a lot of fear here. Let's see what their intentions are. Cancer. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords reverse. Somebody does feel like a little stuck. And they are seeing that they are the problem here in this situation. So let's see. I do see an apology coming in. I do see this person apologizing to you about something. Um, also something to do with like, money as well holding on to money our money kind of being tight or something like that let's see why is the six of swords in reverse the knight of swords in reverse yep see somebody is apologizing because they're seeing that they are the problem not a swords in reverse is somebody very scattered they're all over the place you know they're apologizing they know they fucked up i did wrong the higher fonts reverse like i know this is my fault you know so this is somebody that is not getting it it's like they they're aware after the fact that they're apologizing to you guys but i don't think that they're going to get the lesson fully but let's see. Higher font in reverse. Could, could be dealing with a Taurus. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Star. And we have the Six of Swords. I kind of feel like for some of you guys too, Cancer, you guys let this person get away with this, this energy for so long that they feel like it's not a problem. Going to this Knight of Cups. But I do see some changes coming in. See the Emperor in reverse. Nine of Cups reverse. This person is not happy deep down inside. This person does not love themselves. And that's another issue. When they're faded or in their own little world, they love themselves. They love life. They love the things they can do to you. They love the things they say to you. They love how they make you feel, even sexually. When they're not, then they feel like they're like they can't offer nothing, do nothing, give you nothing, right? They feel like they're not really the the man for you, or they just feel powerless. They they feel like they have no control. So what they need to do is love themselves first. Yeah. When they're on their little cloud nine, there's no problems, no issues in the world. Everything is taken care of. Everybody's happy. But they're suppressing some type of feelings or they're trying to use that to fill a void or something like that. So that's why I said this can be like a, a personal reading for some of you guys because I don't feel like a lot of, well, I don't know, maybe a lot of cancers are going through this or this can be you, cancer. It could be interchangeable. Maybe this is you. And this is a sign for you, but it's just saying too, like somebody is using that as their excuse to move around in life or to make it seem like, oh, when I'm doing this, I'm a much better person, but it's really not. They're destroying others and hurting others around them. All right. So to them, they may feel good because when they're high, they're not thinking about the pain, bills, who they're hurting, who they lied to, who they cheating with. They're not thinking about that. See, and we have sex, sex, sex. So this person can also have some type of sex addiction. Are, are be addicted to sex we have engagement and marriage so this is somebody that wants to marry you um yeah they want to marry you but they got bigger issues we have what the fuck ground yourself to understand the chaos and see they don't understand the things they do when they do them especially if they're faded they don't get it all right we have too much drama so i feel like at times this person can bring too much drama into your life or they're just full of drama and i feel like this is somebody that you guys have been praying for with the praying card or it's like they pray about it after the fact but if not it's like this person needs a lot of love healing and prayer at this time or um like i said for a lot of you guys um you guys are praying to seek um to seek power i'm not power you guys pray to get some type of help or guidance with this person this situation so cancer is like damn i don't know what to even say about this you know some of y'all love like healing energy and abundance in your person because this is sad i feel like no one wants to deal with stuff like this you know when somebody acts like this we got reality check your relationship expectations are not realistic and that definitely will make sense with your person because if they're on cloud nine they're telling you Oh, I want a baby. I want to get married. I want to be with you forever. And then they're off of that and they don't know what they said or they're not living up to the things they told you did. That means that they're not, they're not meeting their own expectations and they're not, they're definitely not meeting yours because obviously they're seeing something to you that makes you feel like, okay, this can happen. But there's a lot that needs to change here. We have separation. So there could be some type of separation that comes in with you and this person. 
time apart will bring clarity. So maybe you guys been separated from this person and you're gaining clarity and maybe you are seeing the bigger picture like, damn, my person really got a problem with issue and addiction or my person needs to fix things or my person needs to do this, this, and that. Some of you guys could be in that energy or space where you're like, damn, like we really got to you know, get this shit together because it's just too much going on. It could be that for sure too. All right, so let's see. We have potential. So stay present so you can see where this goes. I feel like that's what a lot of you guys are doing. I feel like you guys are staying present to see where this can go. But at the same time, it's hurting you. Okay? So just think about it, Cancer. I love y'all. Send you guys lots of love by healing energy and abundance. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book, fireintuition.com. Or you guys can book on my online store, mytearshavehealedmyheart.com. All right? Love you much. Sorry for the long story times. Bye, Cancer.